Today we're speaking with Stacy Chalemi, best-selling author, keynote speaker, health and lifestyle, and epilepsy coach, and a holistic expert. So we are so excited to have you, Stacey. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, we can't wait to have you. What are you going to be talking about? So <laughs> I would like to talk about releasing the power within you. And okay. this year I wrote a book called um, Empower Yourself. Um, Excellent. Don't let your conditions empower you. And that, that goes for anything, like, like stress, mm -hmm. anxiety, diabetes, whatever the case may be, or just obstacles you're going through in life. Because so many people let their obstacles overcome them True. and you know we go through life everybody has something right everybody Absolutely. has something or a host of things a host of <laughs> things yes. yeah, yeah, I call right? it the blend the little cocktail yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. and so you know sometimes those things can overwhelm us and yeah. when they overwhelm us people tend to fall into either depression or they be, they repress their emotions they become numb and they have so everyone has so many good things about them mm -hmm. and you know they just don't know how to exuberate it right. and sometimes when you have so many obstacles and you repress them you don't have a chance to show the world what you're about and mm -hmm. you don't have a chance to get to level let's say 10 and you're at level two but you don't have enough of confidence you don't have enough of ability you're stuck in a situation that you don't know how to get out of right. and you know you don't have to like this you know yeah, you, have to, you have I to I love that so you're gonna yeah. tell people how to get out of that oh, and give definitely. tips tools, yeah you, you know people I get yeah. stuck people get you get stuck and don't know necessarily yes. how to move forward so mm -hmm. I tell this is people, fabulous I tell people we no human being is perfect you know of we course. have a media that makes people look perfect right. but no but I don't believe in that word, right that right. word because perfect doesn't exist Everybody has something in life, right. and you know it's it's impossible not to go through a life. Right. So you know we have to really realize as people that we are not perfect human beings, and mm -hmm. that we have to learn to love ourselves, accept ourselves, and we have to learn to be happy with the person. When you wake up in the mirror and you get in, go into the bathroom and you see that mirror and you look in that mirror, you have to learn to love that person. There's so many people in this world that go into the bathroom in the morning to brush their teeth they see that person in front of them and they're disgusted with that person oh, they don't love sad. that person yeah. and it's so sad it breaks yeah. my heart because right. I you know I have to say I was one of those people at one time mm -hmm. and it's not a good feeling you right. know, it's a yeah. terrible feeling for someone to go through but if someone can show them a pathway on how to get through that and how to change their life and how to live the life they've always dreamed of no star is too high to reach right That's if wonderful. you believe yeah. in yourself then all everything is a possibility. Everything okay. can come true. And and is that also what your book's about? Yes, it is. Okay. You know, I focused on empowerment because you know all my life I've been teaching about health and how to teach people how to heal their bodies naturally. I talked okay. about lifestyle changes. How you know so many people want to feel healthy, but then you say to them, okay, so what do you do every day? You know, let me <laughs> tell me about your right. your usual routine. And then they're like, well, I, I do X, Y, and Z, and it's the most unhealthy healthiest things you could do possibly for yourself. <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah, you want to feel great, but you're doing all the wrong things. Right. Do, they so they change it? It? do they not realize what I, they're doing? Is you know what? Or? I think yeah, just well. like a dysfunctional family, you live in an environment, you're taught a certain way, mm -hmm. you get used to that right. way. It becomes a habit. It becomes a normal. habit, yeah. you know, yes, and you right. just don't know. And then once it becomes a habit, it's very hard to kick those habits right. because right. that's all you get you used to. New yeah. habits, yeah. Yeah. yeah so you know, it's it's changing your routine, changing your way of living. Right. And unbelievably, once you're able to do that, mm. you will see changes in yourself that you never thought were possible. Okay, I where do I that. get this? I know. From? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to start right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And let's just back up a little bit and tell us how you got into this because I know you have a fabulous story and I'd love you to share oh, it with yeah. everybody. I'd, I'd love to. I'd love yeah, to. Yeah, please. <laughs> So, you know, I was five years old and my parents heard a gurgling noise in my bedroom. So my mother gets up to check on me and my lips are turning blue. I'm in a ground wall seizure. I've never had one in my entire mm -hmm. life. She calls the hospital. They bring me to the hospital and they induce me and I'm in a coma for four days. And they found, you know, I had previously, I had an ear infection and I had uh, like a flu. So mm -hmm. I was on medication for that. But the flu had converted into a stronger virus called encephalitis. Oh. 
Oh. And the encephalitis had traveled to my brain, and wow. it was in my brain. So they induced me. That's why they induced me into a coma. And I, they told, you know, after doing lots of tests, they told my parents, if she comes out of this, she'll probably be paraplegic or she'll probably have severe da brain damage. And mm. my father is from a, Gre an isle a small island in Greece, and it's touching because he tells me the story. He was by my bedside the whole time, and there was a little church in his island, and it had a statue, and it used to have tears that came down the statue's eyes. And he was praying, and he was visualizing that statue. And then when he looked up, he said, a teardrop came from my eye. Wow. And I came out of the coma, and the first thing I asked for was McDonald's french fries. And so, <laughs> they were, they were pretty okay. good, yeah. right? I wasn't too healthy back then. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, in moderation. I mean, right. In moderation, yes. yes. And so, you know, I, I came out of it, and I didn't end up with brain damage. I wasn't right. paraplegic. That's so awesome. But I, I did end up with epilepsy. And yeah. that was a true roller coaster ride. So 20 books, and you have a podcast. I have a podcast. And I do coaching. I was just going to say, mean, so you do coaching. And I do keynote speaking. I, do, right. I talk like, in front of people, you know, to help them and give them hope and, you know, to show amazing. people, yeah, you know, it's wonderful. the different mm -hmm. ways to improve themselves and improve their lives. So your coaching is not necessarily about epilepsy or how to get through it. It's more how to become the best. The best, best person, person you possibly are able of becoming. And right. it's, it's not about reaching, not, you can't compare yourself to someone else. Right. There's no comparing. It's, it, you're, you mm -hmm. get to the level where you're happy with you. When you feel good about yourself, You've reached that. It's the self-love thing. We talk about it with the self -love. That's yes. really the most important basis And I write for about everything. that in my book, about self-love. And, and I hope you're going to... It's such an yeah. important message. It is. Yes. And it sounds like, oh, self-love, yeah, but it is, the, it is the foundation. It is the foundation. I really, yeah. You yeah. have to love who you are. That's one of the... One, I have a whole going. chapter about self-love. And that's and in I your empowerment book? That's in my empowerment okay. book. It's, it called, it's all about loving yourself. Yeah. Love it. Okay, Stacey, so tell everybody how they can find out more about you. Okay, so I have two big websites. One's called stacychilemi.com and the other is thecompleteherbalguide.com. Okay, great. And you'll be able to find me there. Great. Wonderful. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for being yeah. here. Oh, really. You're very welcome. Yeah. All right. And we'll be right back.